I, I am just blown away about how good this helmet looks. Check out today's video and see how I made it. It's really not that hard. Oh, baby. Here we go. Here we go. We got the helmet taken apart. It's actually a mailbox post, but I thought it'd be a good place to set it on top so I don't have to hold it or set it on the ground and I can just spray paint it. Going red because we are going to make this a Georgia Bulldog helmet. I ordered some stickers and decals to go on the helmet. We're gonna try to replicate the legendary Herschel Walker's helmet. So let's get to it. All right, I am not a professional. I have no clue what I'm doing. We're gonna shake the spray paint up. Can says hold it at least six to eight inches away. And I'm just gonna lightly glaze it like this. Wanna make sure it's evenly coated. I have to do a couple coats on it just to make sure it's on there smooth. I want a smooth finish. All right, got a coat on it. I'm gonna let this dry. I got some spots where you can kind of see through the paint. So I'll probably go on another coat. Also, you know, I mean, this was a used football helmet. There's scratches on it. Probably kids dropping it on the concrete. Anyways, so we're gonna go with this right now. Maybe later this afternoon or tomorrow, we'll put another coat on. All right, I got the helmet painted. It's the next day. I put about three coats on it. I think it's ready. It's hopefully to have that vintage look I'm going for. All right, let's put it together. Check out the padding of this thing. This thing's probably like from 2000, early 2000s maybe. It's just basically foam. Nothing like the helmets they have today. All right, so all we really got to do is get the face mask on. Holy crap. I have a number 34 sticker. You can guess which player this is going to be. Leave a comment. But it's not the exact style of number that was on this player's helmet. So don't know if I'm going to use it, but we'll see. It's for my son, so if he wants it on there, we'll put it on there. This is just a creative project we came up with. Try to have fun with So you don't see these face masks anymore either. With the uh, bar in the middle. I think I had a helmet like that one time when I was in high school. Now the stickers aren't in yet. Uh, probably won't be till February or a few weeks until they actually come in. started a way to hold the face mask in place that's pretty good though I, ain't I like this kind of old gray with the red it's got a vintage look to it I like Some, there are some scratches and kind of 
things. I mean, this is an old helmet. On display, it should look pretty good. It should look kind of cool. All right, I got all the screws in for the face mask. Now I just need to put the chin strap clipped. All right, now we will put the buckles for like chin strap. Pretty easy. These are like little smaller things to screw into. I hope this project will inspire you to make something, whether it's football helmet or you know anything. Show you what it looks like inside. And look at that number 34 right there. All right, got the helmet, it's all painted up, and I got the Georgia logos to go on side here so also got a white stripe go down it got one of these little old franklin helmets right here to maybe kind of just to go by the angles of the g and things like that so should look pretty good even got the uh bones that will go on to the back of the helmet and got where it says georgia on the back and dogs up on the front. I may have to take the face mask off again just to get some of this on properly, but that's okay. It shouldn't take too much time to do that. All right, I got the front. I was able just to just pull the face mask down a little bit and I got the little pad that goes right here and I'm gonna go ahead and put the dog logo on top of that. These de the decals that go on helmets are a little bit more flexible to wrap around curved surfaces. So if you are gonna do a helmet like this, I would definitely look for helmet decals. If you just use stickers, it's, they're gonna have wrinkles in them when you put them on and things like that. So, all right, got that on. Okay, now I'm going to Put the stripe on the helmet and this should really really make this thing pop now, i got these decals off of ebay i just googled georgia decals and a bunch of sellers came up and i just picked one there is kind of a line that runs down the center of the helmet that's what i'm going to go by Touch the rest of this up under here. Oh man, that already looks awesome. I put it right down the center on the first try. It is not crooked at all. Alright, the next sticker I'm going to add is this. Just going to add it over. Makes it a little easier because the R is right in the center of Georgia. There we go. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's get the face mask back on.
All right, now we gotta put the G on. Wanna make sure it's not sitting like that. It's slight, at a slight angle. See how this sticker like it's rounded right here so it does wrap like this type of sticker helmet decal will wrap around the the curveness and not have any like air pockets and they're really easy to force out dude oh my god that looks so good get the other side actually the red you know I was worried about it being kind of dark but actually it looks pretty good I think Herschel Walker would be proud that's it that looks awesome. Might have to wear this to my next Georgia game. So there's the front. There's the other side. Let's add some bones to it. All right, now I don't have the exact numbers that are on uh, the Georgia helmets, but I do have the bones. So I'm going to stick some of them on the back and just give it that look. Got white ones and black ones. All right, players getting bones, it's called be getting bona fide. So like the white bones are for excellent plays on the field, whether offense, defense, special teams. And then the black bones are for excellent work in the classroom. I mean, it looks like the real thing, right? I am just really impressed how this thing turned out. I mean, that is awesome.